Rob Goldstone is in some ways an unlikely figure to be uh, a character in the drama about a presidential campaign. He's a British music promoter. We've all become quite familiar with him because he is the one who emailed Donald Trump Jr. in June of 2016 and told him that there was a Russian government lawyer who was going to bring damaging information about Hillary Clinton. This was the famous Trump Tower meeting uh, that's gotten a lot of attention as part of the investigation into Russian interference in the, in the presidential election. We've learned uh, over the last few weeks that Rob Goldstone had appeared earlier in the presidential election. Our new information shows that in July of 2015, Goldstone emailed Rona Graff, Donald Trump's personal assistant. In this case, the email that we have shows him inviting Donald Trump to come to Moscow for a birthday celebration for Aras Agalarov, the senior uh, member of the family, a famous Moscow developer. Rona Graf replied that he was unlikely to have time, given that he was, of course, running for president. And Goldstone wrote back. And he said, well, we could perhaps, through Iman Agalarov, arrange a meeting with President Vladimir Putin while he's in Moscow. And he offers that as kind of a sweetener to entice Donald Trump to come to Moscow. The email is one small data point in a sort of growing picture that we're seeing about the Trump world and the Trump campaign. First of all, we've seen repeated efforts from all kinds of people to facilitate, to organize some kind of meeting between Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump. Uh, the other thing I think that email shows is it provides some context for the emails that Goldstone then sends to Donald Trump Jr. about 11 months later. When he's talking about a Russian government effort to help the Trump campaign, uh, based on their previous contacts, that's something that Donald Trump Jr. would have and apparently did take seriously. Goldstone had previously established himself as a person who at least claimed uh, through his clients in Russia to have this tie to, to President Putin. The reason that he's an interesting figure is that he links the Trumps and Trump Tower with the Agalarov family one of uh, Moscow's uh, leading developers and a family that has ties to Vladimir Putin and to the Kremlin. So the thinking would be, and one of the questions is, was there something more in these invitations that Goldstone is offering?